are now less than one week away from the midterm election, and you have the power to choose who represents Arizona in the Senate in one of the country's <laughs> most closely watched races. Congresswoman Martha McSally is facing off against Congresswoman Kirsten Sinema for Jeff Flake's seat. History guaranteed to be made here. One of them will become our state's first female senator. And joining us live in Studio 12A this morning, Congresswoman Martha McSally, alongside Senator Susan Collins from Maine, who just made the trip last night. I know. And says that 77, by the way, it's is not, not cold. cold. <laughs> and listen, I get it. You're right. All right, Ms. McSally, standards. let's start with you. That Senate seat that yeah. you're vying for casts a pretty long shadow. I mean, Senator Flake has been an outspoken representative for our state for a long time. And without the leadership of John McCain, I think voters want that leadership from somewhere. So why should they elect you? Well, and I also work for Senator John Kyle, uh, who is now back in the Senate. Look, Arizona has a long history of sending people to the Senate who are going to be strong voices, especially on national security issues. Uh, and having served 26 years in the military, uh, what brought me to Arizona was flying at Williams Air Force Base before it closed. And I commanded an A-10 squadron at davis monthan The weather, the airspace, the Barry Goldwater Ranges, I know firsthand as one of the few veterans in Congress what our troops need, the national security treasures that we have here. And one of the most important jobs of a senator is making sure that we keep our country and our communities safe. Uh, so I think that's an important factor that people should consider when they're making this decision. I see this as a continuation of my service, the same oath of office when I raised my right hand that I took as a military officer, and I'm just trying to continue to fight for our country and our state. Your campaign has drawn support from political heavyweights, to say the least. I mean, most recently, the president, the vice president in town. We have Senator Susan Collins, who is here right now from Maine. You. Uh, well, the woman elected is going to be taking over Senator Flake's seat. You've been working actually closely with Senator Flake, especially over the Kavanaugh confirmation. The two of you, along with, I think, one other senator, delayed his confirmation so that we could get the FBI investigation. Tell me why you are here you know, rallying support for, for Congresswoman McSally. I think so highly of Martha McSally. She has the competence, the determination, and the integrity that we need in the Senate. She will be a fierce advocate for the state of Arizona, but she will also contribute so much to the national debate on so many important issues. I have had the pleasure to work with both Jeff Flake and John McCain over the years. I was close to both of them. And the Kavanaugh nomination is an example of where there's a real difference between the two candidates in this race with Congresswoman McSally endorsing Justice Kavanaugh and her opponent opposing him. I don't think anyone worked harder on that nomination uh, than I did. And we were really at the brink of throwing overboard the presumption of innocence, of fairness, and it is Martha's support for Justice Kavanaugh that is one reason that I believe that she will approach the issues with great integrity and care and intelligence. We'd like to get to some of those issues. We had several viewers ask about yeah. this, including Mike and Trey on our Facebook page. Thanks for getting those submissions in, everybody. Uh, Arizona has the third highest uninsured rate in the country. In 2015, you voted to repeal the Affordable Care Act. In 2017, repeal and replace. There are people worried about, about health insurance in Arizona. What do you say to those people watching this morning, especially Especially those with pre-existing yeah. conditions. Well, there are many people with pre-existing conditions right now under Obamacare that are uncovered and don't have insurance because they can't afford it. So look, the intention of Obamacare uh, was good, but the policy outcome has not been strong. And so we just need a different approach. I am passionate about protecting people with pre-existing conditions. I voted to protect people with pre-existing conditions. Where, where, where exactly did you vote? Because I think that's the confusion. Yeah, is so, people say uh, you voted I, down the Affordable Care the Act. The repeal but. and replace that we uh, that we voted on. Very very specifically said, insurance companies cannot deny people with pre-existing conditions. And what we're doing is trying to provide other options for more state flexibility and more options for small businesses to be able to pull together, more options for families that are in between jobs, because right now they are uncovered. People with pre-existing conditions are uncovered. So again, intentions were good, but it was a one-size-fits-all, uh, federal top-down approach, also robbing Medicare of $700 billion. And in 14 of 15 counties right now in Arizona, there's only one choice. So we're trying to move towards a better path. 
a better way to approach it that protects people with pre-existing conditions while bringing down the cost and providing more outcomes for people. And that's my passion. Look, I've spent my whole life protecting people. Of course I'm going to protect people. It's a complex issue, health care and health insurance. And we work together on this, actually, on the individual health insurance market, trying to find a bipartisan approach uh, in the midst of all this. But please don't believe the fear tactics and the attack ads. We all either have a pre-existing condition or have a loved one with one, and they're trying to play on people's fears. Uh, I'm not going to take that away and we're trying to provide more options at a lower cost for people and I'm committed to that. We only have six days until the midterm yeah. elections. The campaign has been bad and the attack ads have been you know that's one of the biggest things that we are hearing from people is that they have been so harsh to watch. With just six days yeah. it really does look like Arizona this state is split on who they're going to put in that Senate seat. Why should they vote for you? Well, I would ask people to look at my record and what I've done with my life. I mean, I lost my dad when I was 12. I went through some tough times as a teenager, uh, but it almost crushed me. But instead, I was, by the grace of God, propelled to a life of service. Uh, served 26 years in the military. I put my life on the line for our freedoms and our way of life. Six deployments to the Middle East and Afghanistan, and I broke barriers for women and girls. I was the first woman ever to fly in combat and command a fighter squadron in combat. I'm now in the house because I was frustrated with what I was seeing going on in Washington, D.C. And it's part of our culture as veterans that if we're complaining about something, we better be willing to do something about it. I had the blessing to work for Senator John Kyle as a legislative fellow when I was a major. And he set that example to me. We need people there that are, that are with integrity, that are going to make decisions that are what's best for the country, not what's best for them. Uh, and that's the, co the core values that I, we had in the military. And that's what I'm going to bring to the Senate. I see this as a continued deployment uh, of uh, if to, you know, service to our country and to our state because I care so deeply uh, that people have an opportunity to meet their full potential, that women and girls can be anything they want to be, that anybody who works hard Art in America can get ahead, can provide for their families and can meet their dreams and that we keep our country safe. That's why I'm in the House and that's why I'm running for the Senate and I'd ask them to take a look at my record and I'd be honored to have their vote. Six days and history will be made here in Arizona. We'll see who it is, but we have to finish on this Halloween interview with Boomer. Boomer, come here, buddy. This is one of the big Sally's dog. <laughs> He's my rescue, golden retriever. Come here, Boomer. Five years old, he right? He's five. Crazy. Hi, sweet boy. Oh, Hi. Look at He's this guy. ready for Halloween. We can't make yes. exceptions for congresswomen or senators, though. If you want to win the cutest pet in AZ contest, you got to go on the website and click <laughs> the link. That's the only know. way it works. He's never going to forgive me for this. We've got to get him on because that's amazing. such a good boy. He's a rescue. All right, I wish we had more He's time, amazing. guys, but we got to wrap it up. Hey, Thank buddy. you so much for coming on the show Thank this morning. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot.